What's up, Complic Fiends, Complic Nation? This is your boy Whitey Five, the Complic Addict, coming at you live and direct. Heck yeah, baby, back with another haul. Oh uh, yeah, it's a pretty good haul. Um, there's something really wrong with my camera, man. Hopefully, I get through this uh, this video, but it's like shaking every time. Like even if it sits still, it'll start shaking, like vibrating. I don't know. I, I I record on my iPhone, so maybe I gotta get it looked at or something. I kept resetting and everything, but uh, anyway, let's hopefully we can get through this video. Uh, lots of good books. I actually started picking up a, a lot of new books. Um, shout out to Jim's Comics, man. That guy makes some good videos, so if you don't aren't, aren't subscribed to him or checked out any of his videos, uh, do so, man. He, Jim's Comics, yeah. Uh, he got me back on, into, like, getting uh, picking up new books, you know, just, with, just based on his information and, you know, first appearances and, you know, what's what's uh up and coming coming out in the market so huge shout out to him inspired me a little but anyway go ahead let's go ahead and get started the uh the haul boom we got x factor number one or uh, x factor factor x number one first appearance of uh bedlam villain in uh the deadpool movie i guess so got that for three bucks there was like freaking uh three cop no three there's like six copies they're all for three dollars each i wonder if i should just pick them all up or if the book's even worth it um i don't know if the value is even worth it man let me know if you can comment section you want to copy that i can get one for three bucks there's a bunch of them in the, in the freaking back issue bin next book x-men legacy 214 this book's starting to heat up a little bit it's about a 10 to 15 dollar book uh first appearance of uh miss sinister so I saw this in one of uh, Jim's comics videos. So I was like, you know, Miss uh, Sinister is supposed to be the villain in a uh, upcoming uh, Dark Phoenix movie. So be on the lookout for this book. You can go in your back issue bin like I did. Got it for three bucks, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. You know? Nothing better than getting find little small keys for cheap, you know? Punisher War Journal 7. This is my, uh, this is the second part. I have the first part of this uh storyline with the that's a famous jim lee cover with wolverine on the front cover uh, i got that one but i needed this i need the uh part two of the series so i got that for a couple bucks near me in condition why not action comics 1000 this is the steranko uh variant i guess so not the best Steranko cover in my opinion, but I don't know. Superman kind of looks funny to me, but that's just my opinion. But it is a Steranko cover. And it's Action Comics 1000. I couldn't find any copies for the longest time, so got to have it in my collection. So I, I figured I'd pick up that cover. You know? Um, let's see here. New books. These are, these are a bunch of new books I got. Start off with Justice League number one. So Justice League re, uh, rebooted. This is the number one issue. This is the last copy, man, on the rack when I got it. And I got there on a friggin', uh, I forget when I got there. I think I got there Friday, so it was out for a couple days already. So check out these new books, man. There's a lot of cool new books coming out, man. This really got me back into it. Um, this is uh, Marvel 2 and 1, issue 6. I guess it's the first appearance of, uh, I guess, the friggin' uh, Phoenix becomes a world uh, galaxy healer or something i forget the term but uh i saw this in another one of his uh jim comics uh, video so anything with the first appearances thing especially with the you know with the phoenix might as well pick it up got for cover price so you know i'll pick it up and then this book was in one of the new books i picked out is a uh infinity countdown issue four uh first cameo uh, appearance of the new villain uh requiem requiem i guess how you pronounce it so Pretty cool color cover, man. I like this with Galactus and freaking Rocket Raccoon climbing on his hand. It's a pretty badass cover. I like it. Got that. that one of the new books I got. Uh, a Barrett, a Beer I don't know how to pronounce this right, but this is a really cool cover. Another book where I went on Wednesday, probably at noon on New Comic Book Day. Uh, this week, I believe. Yeah, this week, and this just came out. And uh, nice near mint copy off the freaking stand. Last freaking copy, man. But uh. I don't know. Number one issue. Heard some good things about it, so I might as well pick it up, right? Um, that was the last copy, and this was the last copy I found on the on the rack. Sword Daughter number one uh, from uh, Dark Horse. A lot of these number one Dark Horse books, uh, I think, are something to keep an eye on and possibly collect. Um, 
Uh, I just have a hunch on this book right here. Uh, this was also the last copy on the rack, so I don't know if my shop ordered many, but this is the there's two there's two covers to this book, but uh, this is the one to get, man. I've noticed cover A for most of these independent books are are always I'll leave something up here are always the book the the book to get. So I got that one. I'm bringing a new comic book week this week. Uh, two books I wanted to show on the side that I'm showing. Um, I figured I'd give back to the community and talk more about, you know, stuff that you should probably pick up if you don't have it already in your collection. But, uh, um, these books are, are gaining in value rap pretty rapidly lately. I know this, this Rise Zero is a cameo appearance of Blood, Bloodshot. And Bloodshot apparently is supposed to have a, uh, a movie announced coming out soon. So, this book used to be a dollar book, and then it kind of went to a five to ten dollar book. Now we're talking this is a twenty twenty five dollar book. I got two copies, so I don't know. I may I wait and see if it even gets even more value and sell the other copy. But be on look at, you probably can still get it for a dollar. It's definitely worth getting. And Spawn Number One, not the newsstand, it used to be worth what? Probably a ten dollar book at best. Now, I don't know, for some reason, now, I mean, this book's going for like 25 bucks if you have a high-grade copy. I mean, I don't know, it's some spawn number one, man. If you don't have it, pick it up now, but it's, it's starting to get raised in value. Remember, I remember when this was like a $100 book back in the day, when it was like freaking images, it was freaking just came out, and all the spawn number ones were sold out, and boy, tables changed, but tables turned, but basically this book's starting to rise again, so you find it get it cheap man get it cheap now next books i got i also got um the magic order number one is also a a new book this week um this is a cover a this was like there was only two copies left of cover a all the other covers were had a big stack of them so once again i always think cover a's start going for more money uh but uh i should have got the other cop uh cover was the uh adam hughes co uh variant not his best cover, but I think that book is probably one to pick up as well. But uh, I didn't get that one. I just picked up the the original, the regular cover. So pick that up. Another book that uh, Jim's Comic showed that I was like, you know what? Uh, I heard of this book. I never picked it up when it came out, you know, and I heard about it. Now this book here I'm about to show you is about fifteen twenty dollar book now. It's ridiculous. So, go through your back issue bin and see if you can find it. Black Hammer number one from Dark Horse. Another Dark Horse uh, run that's starting to heat up a little bit, man. So, you ever heard of this? I picked up two copies, so $3 each. I mean, there's the only two copies in the back issue bin. I grabbed them, but I figured, get them, man. I could easily flip one and sell it for 20 bucks. No shot, no problem online, so... Um, I picked two copies up, but yeah, look in your back issue bin for Black Hammer one. Um... Definitely a good, cool freaking uh, series from what I from what I hear. So, got two of those. Awesome. I think that's got yeah. That book has some potential. I think. But uh, yeah, another speculation book. There's another speculation book I want to show. I already had this in my collection, but I want to show this off. Keep an eye out for this book. Star Wars: The Clone Wars Number One. It's the first appearance of Ashohi Santi Aso Ashoha. Ah, I can't pronounce the name. I always freaking butcher it, but it's a it's a Jedi. She it's a female Jedi, a Showa something. She's very popular in freaking Disney in the in the cartoon series, but uh, I believe that's her right there. But be on the lookout for that book. That's her first appearance. This book is going for twenty bucks online right now. Twenty bucks, easy twenty dollar book right now. Hard to find too, but dig through your back issue bin and see if you can find that one. All right, moving on. Let's just go to go to my big book of the week. This is the big book of the week, baby. So glad to get this book in my collection finally. I pulled it, waited so long to finally find the right copy. Um, but without further ado, boom, baby, we got Marvel's premiere issue number fifteen. First appearance of Iron Fist. Man, love it. Finally got it in my collection. You know, finally. Hmm. Oh. Shout out to everybody out there in the community. I hope everyone's doing well and, and everything. I've been watching the World Cup, man. I don't know about any of you guys, but I've been really enjoying the World Cup lately. It comes out early here in California, but let's get up close and personal to this book before I ramble on. Nice high-grade copy. Um, 
tell you how much I paid for this book. I paid 120 shipped. I know that's a good amount, but really for this book, really key issue. And it's almost perfect centering, a little bit, little uh, not quite. You can tell because the origin box doesn't fit completely in the in the page. But there's no ticks on the spine at all. Staples are super clean. The corners are all super clean. Really, it's a really nice looking book. I dare I say it might be an 8.0. I think it might be an 8.0. So beautiful copy, beautiful colors, everything, man. Awesome book. And uh, I was hunting. I was hunting this book for over five years ago. Over five years ago, and at that time the price was probably like it was probably like a forty fifty dollar book, but you can kind of hunt it, hunt it down in the back issue bin, but I could never find it. And then I didn't pull the trigger to buy it like at that 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 price. And then what do you know? The freaking announcement of the Iron Fist series came out on Netflix, and then this thing shot up to a three hundred dollar book, which is freaking ridiculous. So then I just stopped. But what do you know? The series sucked, <laughs> and. uh yeah, I waited and waited and waited. That's so, the one thing about big keys. Sometimes it's best to wait until that series, show, movie is over with. If you don't get it beforehand, wait it out until eventually that all go, you know, fizzes out or whatever, and you can get a huge key like this. I'd say it's not a huge key. B B plus character for a better price. So I'm comfortable comfortable with 120. Um, definitely happy with paying for that for a really super high grade copy so anyway i'm going to cut this before 12 minute mark uh hope everyone's doing well and complicatic is signing out later